in the kitchen like a doughboy. That's my hashtag. This is Taekwon Cobbin, a.k.a. Donnie Mayo 810. I seasoned this steak meat up last night in some soy sauce and um, garlic and stuff. And I want my meat to be super tender. So I'm letting it boil down in some beef broth to get it super tender. And I'm going to go over here to the cabinet where I have my vegetables, bell pepper, an onion, another onion. I got some mushrooms and I got a can of tomato. I'm going to drain the juice out of that and everything. And then we'll be back. Now I got my vegetables chopped up. Rough cut. You don't want them to be too thin. You know, so some of them are a little bit bigger, but I like chunks. You know, big chunks. And I might put the end of these in there because I love onions. And then I'm going to throw the tomatoes. The meat is looking real good. Right about now it's getting, getting there. So I'm going to let that cook for about 30 more minutes just to make sure it's super tender. I'm going to try it. And then I'll come back, put everything together. Okay, my meat. Back there as tender as I like it. So I switched pans, put it in another pan and let it cook a little bit. Threw some oil in my black cast iron pan. Put and throw my vegetables in here. Let them marinate. Season get soft up a little bit. Then I'm going to add some um, garlic, <clears throat> tomato sauce, tomatoes, and let it get proper, but I'll be back. All right. Got the meat back there doing this thing. Vegetables are like they ready. Popish. So now I'm going to take the meat and combine it with the vegetables and then make me a gravy. All right, so I got the meat combined with my vegetables. And I'm going to let this cook down for a minute. Get all soft. And then with the juice back here from my um, steak, I'm going to make my gravy out of it. So... I will show you that in a second. I'm about to add some more garlic to this mixture here. And this is also an experiment. I never made pepper steak before, so I wish I had somebody that could taste it and tell me what they think who really had it. Well, actually, I had it before, so I'm going to taste it and tell you myself. But this is an experiment. This is the first time I'm actually making a video, and I'm going to post this video on YouTube. But I think I did a pretty decent job for... A chef that hasn't been trained, never went to school. This is just something I enjoy doing. I love cooking. It's fun. It's early in the morning. It's 11 11. What it was, it switched on me. <laughs> but I'll be right back. Couldn't find my crushed garlic, but I found this garlic. Frozen. Man, I tell you, they come up with everything for in the kitchen, man. I guess when you stop the video, it stops, but I just added this little piece of frozen chopped up garlic in here to make it get better, more flavor. And yes, I am not a video person. This is the first video I recorded of me cooking meals. But it's looking and smelling real good. Got my water getting boiled. About to boil for my um rice. And um I'll be back in a second. So I just added my gravy and um added everything else, put it all in there. Had a lot of tomatoes in that can left over. I said forget it, I'm not use them. I hate having to try to save something, so may as well put it to use and plus I love tomatoes anyway. So I'm gonna let this simmer. Let it get a little thick, the gravy. I just added 
it to the meat and stuff and um i wanted to get it a little thicker so i'm gonna let that cook for a minute and get my rice together and then i'm gonna make a plate and i'm um, show y'all how it looked together and taste it and um hope i help you out <laughs> 